Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I have a review video on the new Triplend brass markers. These are alcohol markers by Crafters Companion. If you are familiar with the Spectrum Noir, then this is the exact same marker but in a different form. Now I did use previously a similar marker which is a tree blend where you get three colors in one barrel, but this time the new barrel has a brass tip. Available at the moment there are 24 colors, you can get them in a box of 24 or you can get them in sets of 3 like you can see here, but I think in the US they are just available individually or in the set of 24. In any case I would suggest to check them out, see the colors, find out which ones you need for your collection of alcohol markers. I'm gonna share lots of information on these uh, markers, but uh, first let's take a look at them. If you are not familiar with tree blends, then in one barrel you get three different colors. All the colors are marked with the ring, as you can see here, and you get dark, medium and light, which makes coloring super easy. You don't have to look through your stars to find what blends nicely with what. Now, the new thing on these markers is the brush tip. I'm going to bring in the previous tree blend so you can see the difference on the nibs. So this is the previous one and it comes in a black barrel so it is really easy to recognize which ones you are getting. While the new one has a brass tip. It is a Japanese brass, really juicy and soft, lovely to blend with, but it really depends on uh, how you are used to blend. There are people who prefer the brass tip against that fine tip, so now you have the option to use whatever you like. If you already have the previous tree blends collection, there is no need to expand to the new one unless you find a color that you don't have already. Also remember that these are all refillable. Down below in the description you will find links to everything if you want to buy them in sets of 24, in a set of 3, or if you want to get them individually. And I will link down below to both UK online shop as well as to the US. Now I'm going to bring in one of the original Spectrum Noir markers. So this is a Spectrum Noir one and you can see the size of it. Now this is just one color while the grey one has three colors which means that the grey one has smaller barrels which means that they have less ink for each one of the three colors included in the tree blend. However, especially for me, uh, I find that the tree blend is a super easy system to work with. I don't like spending too much time coloring. I prefer designing my cards or my projects. And I find this system super easy to work with. Plus, I know that everything is going to blend nicely together. Here is a close-up photo on the marker where you can see that each one of the dark, medium and light is marked with text as well as with a color-coded ring. Here you can check out the size of the brass. On top of the barrel you can see the color code of each one of the three colors included. This helps you identify which one of the refills you need to buy if your marker dries out. And here is a comparison of the two different nibs for your tree blends. Now I'm going to do some swatches on all the colors that I have here. I have 15 different markers in sets of 3 and um, remember you can get 24 different markers. You will find the link down below where you can check the whole collection. Now since I have these ones I'm going to show you how I do my swatches and for that I like to work on Nina Solar White cardstock and you will find links down below to both US and UK. This is the paper that I work with every time I use alcohol markers. By doing my swatches on this type of paper I know exactly how the finished project is going to look, how they blend on this type of paper and remember that in the US you can find it as Nina Solar White but I get it from UK since I'm in Europe and it is available by Crafters Companion. For my swatches I'm always using this A2 disc bound die set by Waffle Flower. I like to use one of them to die cut my pages and I decided to go with this size for uh, these markers. And since I have um, 15 I'm going to swatch 3 of them in each page. You can definitely go rainbow order, you can follow any type of rule that you like for swatching. I am just going to use on each page the three markers that I got in each one of the sets that I have.
So here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stamp this leaf three times in each one of those pages. This way I will be able to use the marker and blend all three of the shades and see what result I get. So first I'm going to start with the set that is called Spring Blooms and the marker that I'm using is called Hydrangea Blend. I'm always going to start with a darker shade, move on to the mid shade and then all the way to the light one for the tip of my leaf. Of course, there are so many different ways to do the blending. You can overwork it and it's going to look even better. I'm not going to do any overworking on these uh, petals, just because I want to see how nicely they blend together when I'm coloring really fast. I'm also going to swatch all three of them underneath each one of those leaves. And for this marker I found that the light and the mid one were very close. Now let's move on to the next one. This is the magenta blend. This uh, results in a beautiful blending and I absolutely love the three hues that you see. How Although they look completely different, you can see that they blend really nicely. Remember, you can get these markers individually. You don't have to get the set of three. If you like one marker, just grab this one. I am going to show you photos of all the swatches that I did so you can see how nicely they blend together. Now I'm switching to the third marker here and this one is just stunning. I absolutely love those colors. And I know I'm going to use this one a lot for my leaves. This is a jade green blend. Now I'm going to bring in my label maker and I'm going to print out Spring Blooms because this is the name of the set where you get those three, three blends. And I'm also going to write down with my thin black marker the name of each one of those three blend markers. And you can see here a close-up photo. I'm going to let you know my favorites from each group. So here I would definitely go with Magenta Blend and uh, Jade Green. I think that I will get a lot of use out of these markers for coloring flower compositions. Of course, we don't all like the same colors. I'm just going to let you know my favorites. Now I'm going to swatch the three markers from the Autumn Hues uh, set and I find that these are perfect for the season. You will see that I will end up with three leaves that are perfect for any fall wreath and I think they would make a great color combination for any card. So the first one that I swatched is called Burnt Orange Blend. The green one is Dull Green Blend. And the last one I'm going to use is another brown one which is called uh, Gold Brown Blend. And again, remember, you can get these individually. If you find a tree blend marker that is really appealing to you, that you love the three shades, then just grab this one and add it on your collection. So here is a close-up photo on this swatch. And from this one, I would definitely get the burnt orange. This is one that I would use a lot, as well as the dull green. And I do have another video coming up probably tomorrow where you will see these tree blend brass markers into action. I will be coloring uh, stamped images to turn them into cards. Now I am working with markers from the classic chic set and uh, the first one is the dark red blend. Absolutely adorable and I think I'm going to use this one a lot for my Christmas cards. And uh, this is the brown grey blend, so warm greys here. And there is another one in the set which is called ice grey blend, where you will find your cool tones of grey. I find that these three together make a really beautiful card and I would like to use these as a color combo for a card where I color the flower with the dark reds and the leaves with one of the two greys. But if I had to pick favorites from this set, I would go with dark reds and ice grey blend just because I'm a cool kind of girl when it comes to greys. Now I'm swatching markers from the Summer Sun set and the first one is Color Blend. The second one where you get the blue shades is called True Blue. And finally you get a gold yellow blend in this set. And just because I absolutely love any shade of blue, I cannot stay away from this one. So if I had to choose just one from this set, I would definitely go with the blues. The next set is called Cottage Garden. The first color that I'm using here is Bright Pink Blend. You will see that uh, all three colors in this uh, marker are kind of too far away from each other. 
However, I think that they would blend nicely if you overwork it. You can see that it doesn't look too bad in the swatch that I did there. Now, the three colors of green again, the light and the mid one are very close to each other. Again, I think you could get a darker mid shade here. And finally, the purple blend is everything you need from a purple marker. So you get the dark, the medium and the uh, light one, which I think they work nice together. And if you want a favorite from this set, I would definitely go with bright pink blend. So here are all my swatches ready to go. I'm going to use those discs by Waffle Flower, which provide a great system. You can rearrange them anytime you like. You can uh, take out pages or add new ones. I'm going with the white ones just because this is a color swatch. I don't want to add more color when I look at uh, the swatches. And um, I am going to add here the swatches that I have for the other three blends that um, I own in my collection. So this way I will have everything together. This is a great system for your swatches. You can do that for your ink pads. You can do that for your watercolors. Just use different type of paper depending on the medium you are swatching. Remember that in the next video you will see all these markers into action where I will be coloring stamped images for my cards so you can have a better idea on how they work together. So I hope you had fun today, that you got inspired. If you have any questions that I didn't cover for these markers, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all next time.